Hello everybody, this is Oxy Scorps, and we're back to play some more Fantasy Star Online Plus. We're going to be doing Magnitude of Metal. And in this quest, we're actually going to learn a little bit about our mag. And mags in general. Just got to talk to this client real quick. So we're meeting up with this trader who wants the mags for some profit. Just need to go find an android. That's also a ranger. Just running around real quick. And of course, this lady's always here, and she's talking about the Hunter's Guild. And we talk to this guy right here. Pretty much, she's just talking about the mags, and that uh, you can find them on the planet. And of course, you can equip them, and it has various skills. And of course, this guy's talking about Red Ring Rico, who mysteriously disappeared along with the rest of Pioneer One. And that guy just pretty much talking about the traders and everything. Just running around, no extra characters to talk to, so we'll go ahead and go planet side for a bit. Same usual stuff here, so um as you see, the layout's a little different this time. This usually occurs when you're playing. You'll be going in various different directions. And the transporters will be in different locations as well. We're only going to be in one area, so we don't have to look for transporters or anything. So pretty much the same thing as before. We're just by ourselves looking for a female ranger who's an android. Just taking it easy real quick. And of course you can see the green arrow right there on the map. That is where we're going to be heading. As well as we're going to skip her as well. You'll see the female android in just a little bit. Just need to take out these guys. So I'm just going to get the spoils here. And take care of these guys as well. And as you can see, right about there, I'm kind of shooting. That's the android we're going to go talk to. And yes, she is the droid we are looking for. Sorry, Star Wars reference. But, anyways, just gonna take care of these rag wrappies. 
kind of waiting for this one to get a little closer. Get some experience. And of course, if you leave and come back, they will run off. Kind of missed that third one, but got some okay items here and some money. Just need to take care of these boomers. Two more. And that's pretty much it. Off to get the rest of our spoils. Usually you can just go ahead and bypass a bunch of these areas, but I'm just going to go ahead and come on down here and get the items from here. Pretty much these gold boxes will usually have the same items every time the silver boxes usually have more random stuff in them. And we go ahead and get this monofluid, if you don't mind, so I'll pick it up. Um, I'm not going to talk to her right now. We'll go ahead and open the door. She's actually a level 15 android ranger, but we're just going to go ahead and clear out the rest of this area. So we can get the max amount of experience points possible. This area here is usually clear. There are no enemies to worry about, so... Oh, never mind. There are some behind me. I was thinking of a different quest. But these guys aren't too bad, just the same boomers. And of course, some um, more boomers and a rag grappy. Just take care of them. And of course, just walk away and hit the wrap you even got a die mate this time die mates are the same as model mates they just kill you a lot more and we'll go ahead and get these items as well all right so we just have one more room to clear out as well as open this door Okay, maybe not. I don't think there's any enemies in this area. Yep, pretty much all clear here. So we'll go ahead and take the items from this box, as well as the other box, and we'll head back. And find out who the android is, as well as why she took those bags. Probably could have just cut this out, but we don't have very far to go. When the quests get a bit longer, I'll do some editing later on. But let's go ahead and talk to this android. And it looks like there's still a knife missing. And 
And it looks like she's pretty much upset with us looking for the mags. And it looks like she can actually talk to the mags and understand what they're saying and how they feel. So her name is Eleanor and you know she's going to be telling us about our mag as well as other mags. And she's telling us that mag are living beings. And how they can use something like a photon technique that can either help us with our stats or health as well as attack enemies. But first our man has to evolve. You know, this is still a baby mag, and we'll be feeding it later on to get it to evolve. Yeah, so I'm gonna our mag's hungry and needs to eat something. Kind of why I was feeding it earlier. And she's telling us the items that we can feed it. Alright, so it looks like she's trying to try feeding our mag, even though we have been feeding it for quite some time now. And our mag is pretty much telling her how it feels about us. And here we go. We're talking about the photon blast, which I mentioned before, where you can attack enemies or heal yourself or get a status boost. Depends on your hunter. If you're a force, usually your first attack will be healing and your second attack usually with a range or a hunter will be a status boost. Yeah, she's first talking to the mag and us. So we only got one mag and the rest of them are hiding throughout the planet, which we will most likely find later on. And we'll discover more about her in another part of this LP when we go on to the hard version. It's pretty much the same as this normal version, but there's a bit more backstory which we'll go into later on. Kind of coincides with some of the other quests, so. You'll see what happens later on. But right now, we're going to go ahead and sell our stuff and call it a uh, night. So, in the next quest or version of this LP, we will be doing some more quests, of course. So, yeah. So, see you guys next time and bye for now.